Sorry, people. Welcome to my kitchen, people. Come on in. Um, if you read the title, you will see that today, people, I am showing you Thanksgiving leftover hacks, people. Yes, that's what I said. Thanksgiving leftover hacks. Oh, hey, 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 Tamanya. Hey, girl. Hey, Dr. A. Hey, hey. Y'all come to see these hacks. Now, people, oh, Angela. Oh, so many people. Angela Perkins. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so, yes, yeah, so y'all was talking about I was at the dinner table earlier with somebody, and they was like, Thanksgiving food, time to throw it away now. You shouldn't have no more Thanksgiving food left. And I was like, no, you got to learn how to repurpose that leftover, turn it into a brand new dish, and bam, you can eat it. And what I'm going to show you today, people, you can take these Thanksgiving stuff and you can eat it for three more days. Yes, people, that's what I said. Three more days. Now, if All right, people. So like I said, Thanksgiving hacks. So hold on. What should I get started first? We're going to do this first. All right. Now, people, this dish, I call this a turkey salad, people. A turkey salad. So what I have is I got some sweet onions, and I'm just going to chop my little sweet onions up. Now, Tamanya, um, Ellen, Judy, y'all take some onions and follow along. How do you get this thing off? Okay, people, yes. Bam. One more onion. And a lot of people, you know what's called chicken salad, but y'all don't know what turkey salad is. And so I'm going to show y'all today, people. It works the same way. So what I have is I got some onions. Oh, Laura, I'm about to cry on camera. I got some onions that I'm just going to chop up. And I'm not using my chopper, chopper, chopper because I don't want these onions to be very fine. I just want them to be like little hues. So I'm not using my chopper, chopper, chopper. I'm doing, bringing out a knife, showing you my nice skills as a chef, because I am a chef, people. I gotta show y'all my, my my diploma I got from that chef school. It, what, what they call that school? Uh, the culinary school. People, people, people. All right, so you see, I'm not cutting these up very, very fine, just a little bit. All right, people? And then, so once you got your onions, you're gonna put your onions to the side into a little dish like what? People, 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 and y'all see how 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 big they are. I'm not cutting them very very fine. I'm doing that purposefully. I want y'all talk, talking about. I want y'all talking about my knife skills. Bam, 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 bam. Get all of that. Okay. Next, you need is some celery, people. Now I've already rinsed my celery off, people. So I don't want y'all talking about me in the comments. He didn't rinse off his celery. I did before I came on live. I rinsed it off, people. Okay, people, so you're just going to have some celery. And I don't use the stem, people, the stem. You never use the stem on, 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 on the celery. All right? So you got your celery. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, this celery is strong. Can you smell it, James? Mm -hmm. It's strong celery. People, people, people. Okay, almost done, people. Look, these Thanksgiving hacks are going to be really, really easy and simple. So anybody can, uh, can can do it, even for my people who can't cook like Shakara. All right, so I got my onion. Yes, that's shade to Shakara. Got my onion. I got my celery. I got, oh, my turkey. Let me cut, cut my turkey up. So you take your leftover turkey that you don't want to eat, and you're just going to chop up your turkey as well. Now, I'm using a very, very strong knife. This right here is my star knife. Star gave me this knife. And this is this is the knife from Ikea. So you're just going to take your little turkey and you're just going to chop it up. Now, this, people, you want to be as fine as possible. If I was thinking, I would have took out my chopper, chopper, chopper. It makes it easier, but it's okay. We're going to get through this live and then um, I'll do the rest off the camera. Bam, bam, bam. So you want your turkey to be fine as possible. Or people, I know people like Dr. A and Shakara, they didn't cook a turkey. They cook Cornish hens. You can do the same thing. Just take your, see Dr. A, I'm helping you out. Just take your leftover Cornish hen meat and just um, just chop it up real fine like this. And now we, but people, we we got all of our ingredients right there. Now let me go inside my, um, my, my refrigerator because I got to get the main ingredient for, for these salads, people. 
Duke's people. Duke's man. Yes, people. Duke's mayonnaise. If you do not know about Duke's mayonnaise, you're going to learn today because Duke's is amazing, people. Okay. Duke's is amazing. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to put all my ingredients into my little, into my little bowl. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take my leftover turkey. Tamani, you see this? You can do this. Leftover turkey, uh, my celery, my onion, bam, bam, bam. And then guess what, people? I'm just going to take my dukes. Now, let's see. I brought out both because I'm running low. Bam, 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 bam. Woo. Yes, 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 yes. People, people, people. I might need a little bit more. But you see this? I'm just using, and I'm not measuring people. I'm a chef. I don't measure. So. And then people, I'm going to show y'all the cherry on top. Give me one second. After we finish this, I'm going to show you the cherry on top. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. And people, when you're cooking, make sure you cook with love. People, you got to cook with love. You see that? Bam! Now, here's the cherry on top. James, follow me because I don't know if I got enough core on my mic. The, the cherry on top is seasoning, people. So, I'm just going to grab some salt, some pepper, and paprika. And that's it, people. That's it. Watch, watch, watch what I do. So, I'm going to get some salt. And you're just seasoning it for taste. See, I'm using all my pretty chef words. Season it for taste. And then some black pepper. Bam. And then some paprika. Oop, that's the wrong side. Bam, 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 bam. And then mix that all up. People, people, people. This dish is going to be amazing. People, 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 y'all see this? Bam! Turkey salad. Ta-da! Okay, so dish number two, people. Now, I'm really not going to cook this dish because it's self-explanatory, all right? Dish number two is a turkey or a ham. So, see, this dish, you can use turkey or ham. See? You can use both if you want to, too. But I don't got no more ham because I ate all the ham because it was so good. Yes, sorry, people. But, yes. So you can make a turkey and a ham sandwich, people. Yes, but listen, listen, listen. Not a regular sandwich. Where, where, where this bread at? Oh, this right here. This is why I want to show y'all. This is what's called potato bread. Potato bread. And do, do y'all see that? Mm -hmm. So if you get potato bread, it has a, it's a different texture. And if you like your Duke's mayonnaise, you can put mayonnaise on the sandwich. I don't like mayonnaise. I eat my sandwiches dry yes that's what i said people everybody who if you know me by now you know i don't like any condiments but i'm not going to show you that because that's easy anyone anyone can make a sandwich people all right so dish number three all right people dish number three let me um hold on let, let me get myself together before i mess up people is this anybody can tell what this is this is called a turkey neck people a turkey neck now if you cook the turkey, you have one of these. Don't throw this away, people. This is good eating. This is good eating. So I'm going to show you what to do. All right, James. So I'm coming over here to my section over here, people. Now look what I'm going to do. Which pot did I say was going to be? Oh, this is for my gravy. So this is the pot. Okay. So people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little pot and I'm going to put my turkey neck in there, people. And then look, people. I'm going to use 50% chicken stock and 50% um, water, people. Water, water. So watch what I do to this thing. So I got my chicken broth. Is this thing defected? Oh, there it goes. Oops. It's defected. This can is the. Am I holding this thing right? Oh, there it go. People, 
Y'all see this? So I got my chicken stock, and I'm going to put a little bit. It was full to the top, so that's why I did that. And then I'm going to take this little lip right here. Y'all see that? Y'all see what this thing is for? It's for pouring, people. Pouring. You see that? So I'm going to do 50% chicken stock. And you see, I'm not measuring people. I'm a chef. I'm an expert. And 50% water. Now, people, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your turkey neck is covered, people. That's how you know how much liquid to put inside there. You just want it to cover. dripping out like that. Oh, there it go. Go. It's splashing everywhere. It's making my kitchen look dirty. Sorry, people. We're having some technical difficulties. Bam! And it's covered. And then I'm just going to turn it on high, people. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on high first. And I want to get into what's called a rigorous boil. And then I'm going to turn So, it. as you can see, my thing is moving on to a, a vigorous boil. And now I'm getting started on the gravy. Yes, people, I'm cooking gravy again. So, this is the, this is, I think this is the first time I've ever cooked gravy after the gravy mess up, people. So, so look what I'm going to do, people. So, I cooked another turkey neck earlier. So, y'all got to wait, y'all got to wait for that to get done. Um, I got another one that I'm going to cook. Okay, people. So, watch what I do. When I make my gravy, I've been practicing. Okay? So I'm going to take some chicken broth. And that's why I got another one out. Because I knew I was going to run out. Do I suppose to shake this? Let's just shake it just in case. Bam. All right. And then I got want some cornstarch. Ooh, what's the Ooh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Stop. Go down. Sorry, people. Hold on. Why this thing like moving like that? Hold on. This aisle defected. We're going to go to this aisle, people. That's going to be hard to clean up afterwards. All right, people. We back on schedule. Okay. This spoon is dirty. My dishwasher didn't do a good job, people. You got to look, look at your utensils before you use it, people. Remember, you got to be clean. Everybody not clean. Did I turn on the right aisle? Okay, yeah. So I'm just using a tablespoon of cornstarch. Now, people, if I had some bacon grease, I will add some bacon grease, but I don't think I got any bacon grease. Or you can use grease from your turkey, people, people, people. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing in the cornstarch, and I want to make sure that I'm getting all the lumps out. It's going to make my life easier at the end. Why did that pot do that? And it wasn't even covered. I thought it boils over when it's covered. All right, people. Swirly, 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 swirly. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. So once I got that right, now people, I just thought about idea. Since I don't got no grease, people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute some onions. And that will be my grease. See this? See? You see what I'm doing as a chef? I just go off the top of the dome and be like, ooh, this is just what I'm gonna do. So, ooh, that was hot. That steam from that pot is hot. Okay, so I turn this on. Let me add a little bit of oil. 
to get it going. That's it. Just a little swirl. So people, this is homemade gravy. Now I can I'm gonna tell y'all before y'all come to come for me in the comments. You can use flour if you want to. I like to be fancy and use cornstarch. So Chanel, I know you don't eat leftovers, but you can cook this meal because this technically this isn't leftover because you didn't cook your turkey neck yet. So I'm putting my onions and maybe I need to put a little bit more onions. Oh no, never mind. It's coming up. Get close, James. Y'all see it's um, bubbling, sizzling. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. And remember, I'm just using this as like a little bit of grease. Ooh. Ooh, it's popping. Ooh. I gotta make my device again. Hold on, people. If y'all watched Cooking with Derek before, you know my device. This is what you make so the bleed, so the grease won't pop on you. You got this device. Okay. And then look, I just want to make sure that my um my cornstarch is all the way liquefied. And then look, I'm gonna add it to it. Y'all see that? Now, I'm going to add some water. Got to be quick with it. Got to be quick, people. I'm just going to add a little water. Just a little. And I'm going to continue to let it swirl, people. This is homemade gravy. Woo! Oops. Sorry. Y'all watching? Hold on. Let me add. Get some more water ready. Why this thing keep bubbling like that? It's up. Don't spill the ball over. Oh, hold on, people. I gotta catch it. Don't want no lumps. So, people, I'm just gonna make sure that I get all my lumps out. Why am I using a spoon? I need to use a fork. See, people? And it's gonna thicken up on me. Now, people, I got the water ready because if it gets too thick, then I'm going to use the water to cut it. Bam, 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 bam. It's hot. Bam, 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 bam. Y'all see this? Let me turn the down. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Just a little bit, just a little bit, people. See it, James? Y'all see it? That's homemade gravy. Don't that look scrumptious? That's the consistency that I want. So I'm going to turn it off. And that is, um, what is it? Um, meal number three. People, people, see, I'm showing y'all all the stops. Now, what y'all do with this is y'all serve this over rice. So I got some rice right here. And I my turkey that I already cooked this one right here. I'm going to show y'all that later. Hold on. It's still bubbling. Hold on. Did I turn the right aisle off? I did. There it goes. It's coming down. It stopped the cooking process. No, it didn't. Maybe I should move it. Let's just move it off. And people, that is complete. Let me, let me taste one of the food real quick because I don't eat chicken, tur turkey salad. I don't eat mayonnaise, people. Unless James want to taste. So I'm going to do my little turkey neck. 
So remember I told y'all that I already had one that I cooked already? That's what I'm going to use. Okay. That's what I'm going to use. And then let me get to your comments one more time too. I'm going to get to your comments one more time. Give, give me a second. Okay. And then my grava. Oh, see, Donnie, it got thick. You see it's thick? <laughs> James, what are you laughing? Donnie, you got thick. <laughs> Let me turn it this way. See? See? Ooh, let me turn this one down. The one that I'm cooking now. Once it goes to... Sorry, people, I forgot to tell y'all. Your turkey neck, once it gets to a hard, rigorous boil, then you turn it down. Let me get over here, James. I'm not going to eat all the turkey neck from James. Ain't no meat on this. Hold on, people. It's no meat. Donnie, tell stars no meat on this thing. I cooked it like she said. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that's a little piece of meat. Okay, we'll taste this. Oh, I just gotta pull it apart. Give me a second. Okay, let me put this back in here. Ooh, ooh, oops. Oh, my stove is a mess. I gotta clean it up. Okay, people, let me get some more gravy. That should be enough. Okay. Let me take this on camera so y'all can see. And then, um, I need this to wash my hands. All right. So let us say our grace. God, our Father, God, our Father, once again, once again, thank you for our blessings. Thank you for our blessings. Amen. Amen. Eat, eat. All right, so I got my rice, which is easy. Let me taste the gravy first. It's hot. Mm -hmm. And the turkey neck. Mm. Put my foot in this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Cooking with Derek. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that big thumbs up button and tell me what you thought about it in the comments. And remember, if you want to watch more episodes of Cooking with Derek, hit that big red subscribe button and be, hit the bell if you want to be notified every single time I post. Until next time.